Yeah. Where are we? I like No, we're not. Where are we? On. Waiting for the ship. I suppose so. The ferry. Yeah. The ferry. Days, I'm going to be uploading every single day at nine o'clock in the morning uploading our travel and holiday vlogs we are off to the Isle of Wight we're actually just about to touch down in the Isle of Wight from the ferry it was an awful journey it took double the time it should have it should have taken an hour and a half and it took just about three hours possibly a little bit more um, <laughs> we're all very excited we're all very excited to go on holiday um, but yeah so it's going to be for eight days I'm vlogging daily we are staying with the Orchards something? Holiday Park yes you can um, we are going to go stay in you know those little houses holiday um, caravan a caravan yeah we're going to stay in one of those mm. are you excited yes yeah. Are you excited, Faye? This is our car. I'm actually going to lay down in the caravan. Yeah. Is it sleeping in there? It's, yeah, it's like a holiday caravan. It's like a long home all on one floor. Like a bungalow. Why is my side really dark in this? I don't know. arrived at the Orchards Holiday Park we are in our caravan I'm gonna do a kind of house caravan tour in a little while but we have very hungry kids so we've just put a cottage pie in the oven we're gonna get some dinner over and done with I'm also unpacking a little bit and then I'll do the house tour but yeah all's good so far that little girl right there she ate little Chris when he wasn't allowed <laughs> She's a naughty little girl. <laughs> So as you walk into the main area, we have a really lovely sized lounge, lots of storage, it's got a carpet in there, plenty of spaces to sit. Over this way is the dining room area with which seats six, as you can see. A uh, cupboard, which is empty, so you can store anything you want in there. Over here is the kitchen. It's got a microwave, um, gas hob and oven. The fridge inside has just got... So the fridge inside only has a tiny freezer box, which isn't great for a family of five. The kitchen has everything you need, so it's got cutlery, knives, can opener and stuff like that. It's got saucepans and a frying pan then as you walk through here which you can shut so you can keep it closed in the evenings on the right hand side you have the shower room the shower is really really big nothing there's it doesn't come with any shower gels or towels so ba maybe bear that in mind luckily I bought towels um, this room also has a sink and a little radiator so it's going to be nice and warm moving along this way is the toilet with another sink which is really good really cool um very lovely windows it's all very bright everywhere it's obviously later on in the hallway area here so this is the other second door is coat peg space for shoes i've got the suitcase at the moment if i spin round into here we have a twin room the beds are obviously very slim it's a caravan or a static home so it's to be expected you've got lots of storage and a wardrobe with a hoover 
so like I said, or I don't know if I've said, it's all centrally heated. So it's got radiators and double glazing, which is really good. It's going to keep us nice and warm. In this room is a double room. It's hubby and eyes, obviously. Um, the bed feels okay. It's comfortable. I've had to make all of the beds. They give you um, linen and bed stuff, but um, I've had to make th make it. But a double wardrobe with drawers inside and a space for my makeup. Coming into here is where P2 and P3 are sleeping. This one seems a little bit thinner, but again, there's enough space for them to sleep comfortably. It's got wardrobes over the top and a little tiny kind of half, three quarter wardrobe there. And yeah, that's about it, basically. The girls are doing an easter egg hunt for mummy and daddy so we're hiding behind a pillow trying not to see where they're hiding stuff the doors that are shut don't have any eggs in them okay that's that one Annie. tracy does hang on carl let me set this up room for the well for the next seven nights the bed's quite comfortable actually for a caravan bed it's the first time that we've been in this sort of experience so it's really interesting normally we stay in like cottages or you know that type of stuff but this is totally different and it's actually a really nice experience the walls are paper thin as you can expect so we're gonna have to be quite quiet when we talk and stuff in the evenings but p1 is reading in her little room and i think p2 and p3 are already asleep so they were pretty tired it is about to turn eight o'clock so we're doing quite well for time really i don't know if you ever watched like my previous isle of white vlogs or any holiday related like travel vlogs or anything my kids tend to not sleep very well when we're on holiday they either really mess around at bedtime or during the night they wake up a million times and i'm always complaining that i'm tired because of that rather than because we busy we haven't explored too much we haven't explored at all actually um since we got here because the weather's been pretty rubbish it's been raining pretty much continuously but i think we're gonna try and explore a little bit of the like holiday park tomorrow get some photos and stuff like that there's a swimming pool there's an indoor and outdoor pit swimming pool and i think i believe there's two play areas there possibly might be more than that but obviously if you watch my vlogs from now i'll make a playlist and it'll be below so as I said earlier, I'm going to upload every day at 9 o'clock in the morning so you will see them basically live but kind of not because this would be like a week before but yeah it doesn't matter so you'll eventually know and how many playgrounds and have a little wander around with us as well it's a shop i did see there's also games rooms so it's going to be quite a nice base to be on the isle of wight it's in yarmouth so it's, if you're looking at the map it's kind of on like the left hand side of the map so it's a really good location for all attractions really the isle of wight you can get from one side to the other within about less than an hour so this is why we love it as a destination because although we're traveling around the island the kids don't actually have to be in the car for that long tomorrow we are going to tapnell farm which we are very excited about it's quite a new attraction on the isle of wight i think it was opened in 2016 we went last year and it only recently been opened and we're so excited to go back tomorrow because it was just so much fun and i think they've got an easter event on so that'll be even better but yeah i've been speaking for far too long so please come back tomorrow and join us basically for another day of the isle of wight fun mm -hmm. 